Welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome back to a uh, new bike. <laughs> so you guys think I'm probably mad, but um, I have um, traded my Zero DSR in for a Triumph uh, Street Triple R. So uh, the Zero is gone. And um, I'll explain to you in a few minutes um, why the zero is gone. Um, and I'll also explain to you guys uh, why I decided on uh, this bike. So uh, I hope you enjoy um, all, all the zero videos, the zero uh, motorcycle videos. Um, I really enjoyed riding that bike. But um, the opportunity came along to uh, trade trade down, I would, I would say, um, from the electric bike all the way back to a petrol bike so uh, let's start with uh, giving you a sort of a final update about the zero um, now I I did about uh, just shy of 2,000 miles on the zero in about a year and a half and um, as I said in said in all my other videos um, I really enjoyed that bike it was uh, super fast it was uh, really well built um, it was the, uh, uh, you know everything on the bike just felt really nicely put together um, the reason why I sold it um, or traded up is um, the guys from street bike with code at UK uh, gave me a really good deal now I was paying um, quite a bit for the zero because it is quite expensive a bike and um, I wanted to uh, lower my monthly payments. So uh, the guys basically had the street triple, this is, this is the 7765, so it's the new motor. And um, they gave me a really good deal on it. So um, I'm lowering my repayments monthly by quite a lot. And my insurance is also cheaper um, compared to the zero. And the other thing is I was I was always um, really intrigued to uh, own a Triumph um, I really enjoyed like um, the old school with the round lights like way like way back it was just really such a unique sounding bike um, the same with a BMW you know, as you as you as you probably know I'm a big BMW fan um, but uh, and the BMW has also got a very unique sound to it. That boxer engine sounds very unique. So I thought to myself, you know, um, they were. The, this is a 2020, end of 2020 bike. So uh, they gave me a really good deal. My payments monthly is much less. My insurance is much less. Uh, yes, I'm going to pay for fuel, and yes, I'm going to pay for road tax. I think the road tax on this bike is 93 pound a year. Um, but then again, you know, um, I, that's, that's uh, uh, one, one payment less that I save um, compared to paying for the zero. So, um, and I need to fill in fuel, but the fuel is like, I think it's about 50 pounds to fill up the tank. So it's not, it's not that, it's not that bad. So um, I did about just shy of 2000 miles on the zero. Now, I was speaking to a guy yesterday uh, about the reason uh, why I sold the Zero or, or sort of a sort of, uh, 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 nudge to sell the Zero. Now, as, as much as I enjoyed riding the Zero, um, there was a few things, niggly bits, not niggly bits, but things in the back of my mind that, that kept, kept on um, coming back in its might sound a bit funny to some people, but for some people it will make sense. So for me personally, um, I do about, uh, say about 18 mile round trip to work and back. And to have a bike that uh, doesn't have any maintenance, the uh, zero, it's awesome. But what I did find is um, the one thing that sort of is in the back of my mind the whole time is like the range. Now, I, I did a, quite a bit of uh, a range test videos on the Zero, and I can get comfortably about 80, 
to 88 miles on range. This is summer, winter is a little bit is a little bit less. Also in winter, you need to remember that the the battery never heats up. So if you get to a lower um, lower state of charge battery, you might uh, run into uh, 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 restrictions. So if you if you want to overtake a car and you low down to 20 20% battery, you might be uh, clipped back to uh, 30 miles an hour. So just be aware of that. Um, I found it out. I wanted to, to overtake a car and um, it basically uh, lowered the speed. And I was like, an, that's not really ideal, but that's something you can get used to. So, um, you know, that was, that, was, that was the thing. It's, it's that 80 mile range. Now, now you, you say 80 miles is fine. It's for, for most people, 80 miles is perfectly fine. And for me, it's also perfectly fine. But on one side, I like changing bikes. Um, on the other side, um, I had a few opportunities where I would do a nice, I, I sort of plan my route to be an 80 mile round trip or a 75 mile round trip, 70 mile round trip. And I go out for a Saturday morning ride. And then halfway through the ride, um, I get a text from from my, from my wife saying, "Listen, man, um, I'm 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 taking the uh, my uh, my daughter to play with friends. This is prior to lockdown, and um, you can take a longer ride." And then I'm like, uh, "You know, I cannot take that longer ride." So that's that's the one limiting factor. Now the zero, the one that I had didn't come with a charge tank. The charge tank is the is the fast charger that gets installed with the bike. You can buy it as a retrofit, or you can buy it, um, or you can or you can buy it uh, 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 with the bike as a as option before you actually receive the bike. Now, if you retrofit that charge tank, that is two thousand five hundred pounds to get it installed. That gives you a faster charging speed, so you can take the bike up from, say, from 15 to 20 percent up to 80 percent in about 45 minutes. Now, 45 minutes for for me to stop is um, is okay-ish, but it's too long. When I heard that zero um, for 2021, they've only done a color change, a color update to their bikes you know they were you know I was hoping for a little bit more um, maybe a bit more range maybe some other bits and bobs I'll speak about the bits and bobs that, that I can think that they that they need to sort of think about um, uh, 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 to keep ahead of the curve I think and the thing is you know zero doesn't probably have to do anything because um, they don't have any real competition yes you get the energy cars and all these other bikes but I'm talking about like a brand that you can go and buy and there's a massive dealer uh, net network and uh, you can get spares and parts and everything. The Zero is pretty much, you know, leading that route or leading, leading that charge. Now, um, let's, let's talk about the things that, that I was hoping that they would bring into 2021. Now, the, the first thing is, is, is battery preheating. Now I don't know if it's a massive, uh, a massive problem to fit it in, in a bike because it's quite small. Maybe it is, and that's why they haven't done it. But the thing is, not everyone lives in in California, where it, firstly it doesn't rain and it doesn't and it doesn't really get that cold. Um, so for me to be able to, like my electric car, be able to plug the bike in in my garage and then. Um, use the app to pre-warm the battery before I go out for for my Saturday ride. That would be ideal. So when I start with a warm battery, I get a, a longer, um, a more performance out of the battery, or or longer range. Um, so that's the one thing. I was hoping that that they would do something with the software on the bike that allows you to do pre-heating of the battery when it's plugged in. Um, the other thing is the app as well. The, the app is, I haven't seen any development on that app making it a little bit more, uh, 
you know, change it up. You know, you know, I've, 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 I've got a Tesla, and every month I get a new look and feel to the uh, car, so the infotainment system, or whatever. You know, the zero for what you pay in the DSR, it's a lot of money. You get a very basic LCD screen or a screen, and you can't really do this. There's not much that you can change on it. Now that's perfectly fine. You know the top line bikes, the SF and the I think the SFR and whatever, they have to got the new uh, uh, screen that's really nice and everything. But that bike is, is very close to twenty thousand pounds. It's got exactly the same range as my bike of eighty miles. Um, so. So I was hoping that, that they would sort of do a bit of development on the app, make the app a little bit more, uh, change the app up, you know, the look, and you can customize and get more stats and stuff to the, to the app, Inter integrate uh, sat-nav into the app, those type of things. You know, BMW, even Triumph, and all the other boys, they do these integration into, into the bike with your phone, and that's a really good idea. So that's on the app side. I would really like to have, have uh, preconditioning or heating the battery by even a little bit via when it's plugged in and the app to, to sort of uh, move the app forward. Another thing I was also hoping that they would do, because they also say that you can check this, uh, the battery charge on the, on the app while the bike is charging. Because the, when you plug the bike in, it activates the Bluetooth and then you can connect your phone and you can check uh, your state of charge now for me um, I don't uh, I don't sit uh, four meters or five meters away from my bike to check the battery state so again like the car um, make the make the bike connect to Wi-Fi in your house and then you can sit anywhere in your house and check your battery status or use the app to preheat your battery those are the things that 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 I would like them like to see if the guys develop and bring it forward or we even just announce it that they're gonna look at stuff like that to keep people excited about it because ideally you wanna you wanna see what's coming down the line so you can you can you can you can you can, you can be excited about these things and I get excited about a lot of things <laughs> but but yeah so 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 those are the things um, that, that I was hoping, you know, um, I was also hoping for the new DSR, the 2021, to also have the same screen as the top end bike, so you get more information, it's a more flashy screen, it's quite nice, I was looking for um, a, 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 maybe a bit of a redesign in the back of the Zero, because um, if you ride in the rain, or not even in the rain, if the, if the roads are wet, you basically get caked up on the back of your back of your uh, uh, jacket your trousers your even your helmet gets 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 all the road muck gets uh, a, a, a splash onto your back bizarre you know I was I, I did a um, about three weekends ago I did a ride and my whole back was was full of um, road grit and grime I'm like this is supposed to be an off-road bike you know it, you know they should, uh, it shouldn't happen. But again, you know, I think it's probably developed for um, America or California, where it's nice and warm and you don't have a lot of rain and um, and so forth. Yeah. So, so yeah, you know, maybe do something or, or uh, you know, include a, a better hugger that that actually doesn't allow the, the water to kick up. Now, I've been on this bike now. It's the, this is the first time I've ridden this bike up. I, I, got this bike about was it about two days ago no yeah two days ago two days ago, two days ago I couldn't ride it because it was raining and it was like really cold so uh, and yeah I, I went through water now and my back is perfectly dry perfectly clean so even my even my boots is dry so uh, yeah so simple things like that you know yes I can probably go and install a aftermarket hugger or a a mud guard or whatever but for that money <laughs> it should have it on um, another thing the front screen of the bike the aftermarket screen that you can buy 
Um, I I bought the one with the bent uh, uh, bent arms, so you can tilt it as much as possible forward to actually get the wind over your face. Um, I was never able to uh, adjust the um, the front screen, so it actually is up enough that it deflects the the, the wind onto my helmet. No, I, I wasn't expect expecting it to be uh, a, a super duper screen but it's a nice looking screen it fits really well it looks like it's designed for the bike but what i found is the screen always feels like this top edge of the screen always feels too close to my face that if i'm going to brake hard i'm going to bump into the screen i don't know um, maybe it's just like that and i couldn't get it any higher than than basically here so so on a cold day it would sort of really kick up onto your onto your neck quite bi quite bizarre so i couldn't adjust maybe I, I was just doing something wrong but i did speak to the guys and they couldn't um, they said i was doing it right so i sent them photos and they said that is the maximum angle that you can adjust it so um yeah so there's just a few points that i found um that i that i that i didn't like that much of the zero but there's so many other points that I found so positive to the zero um, but yeah I was hoping 2021 the guys would move and shake and do a little bit um, better stuff because the zero that DSR and, uh, and, and the XF has been going for quite a few years they really haven't changed much um, and I would like the guys to stay ahead because listen man I will probably be back buying an electric bike because it's it's so nice. Um, but yeah, for for the riding that I'm doing and for and for um, what I, what I want to use the bike currently, you know, hopefully summer is going to come in about or spring is going to come in about two to three months. Um, then I'll probably have my first 600 mile service on this bike, um, and then we'll see. You know, this I haven't ridden a perfect bike every bike is different so uh but so guys <laughs> that's the story of the zero and that's why i sold it um i'll do another video about um this uh, street triple r drop in the comments below if you've got a bike like this um that, that'd be awesome to give me some feedback or whatever i'm still trying to figure out why the, why there's blue lights coming up on the dash this doesn't have the LCD screen, so it's got the analog rev counter. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's super comfortable. I, I did about 50, 50 miles now, um, and it's super comfortable. It sounds really nice. Um, one one last thing, um, my uh, my wife was saying that that I I started the wrong way around by. Um, riding uh, BMWs that's an older older guy's bike that's what they say um, and 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 I'm not getting older and I'm riding a younger man's bike so, <laughs> so we'll see but yeah first 50 miles very comfortable the seat feels like it's almost got a gel seat and it's really comfortable com compared to the zero um, where you were supposed to have a, uh, a comfortable seat for longer journeys but uh, and and I'm you know I was on the motorway now and, and the wind blast was uh, not that bad, but yeah, I think I'm going to get myself some heated gloves, like proper heated gloves. Um, I've, I've got a, a case heater jacket that works with the battery, um, but I want to get a uh, I want to get um, heated gloves that also works with the battery. But yeah, guys, um, if you if you enjoy the video, like and subscribe. Um, if you've got any questions about the Zero, um, please drop in the comments below. Um, and yeah, follow me on the journey to um, getting used to the uh, Street Triple R. Lovely looking bike. I like the looks and the sound of it. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you on the next video. Cheers, guys.